Master Race is new progress system introduced in expansion Heart of Thorns. Basically allows you expand your character beyond level 80 without devaluating previous progress and gear. To be able to train Masteries you have to complete first story step of expansion with at least one character. Then you activate one of Masteries, earn enough experience and learn it by investing mastery points in it. It's great idea learn some Masteries first. Gliding with updraft and mushroom jumping are necessary for obtaining majority of mastery points and overall map navigation so focus on them first together with new Gwolo Mastery. Continue with Central Tyria Masteries. Maxing out packed commander line with auto loot will make your life much easier. Order of rest is up to you. If you are a regular player you already have majority of mastery points retroactively from previous achievements and your biggest concern is how to get fast those millions of XP. Unlike loot, experience aren't affected by your damage output. All you need is one hit to get full experience so equip skills and trade what will help you take as many mobs as possible. Now let's boost up your experience game. There are many items on multipliers experience and theoretically you can get up to 558% even if it's quite hard to achieve that. Halloween food and powerful potion slaying scarlet armies gives 15% each and you can use them together. Lucky and lunar firework stacks with each other with 5 and 10%. If you are in guild take free 10% buff from vendor plus another guild bonuses if activated. You can also buy banners, but it's not worth spending commendations. For 10 laurels, buy experience infusion to ascended amulet with utility infusion slot for another 20%. We have two types of experience boosters, gold and blue. Both gives 50% and stacks. You can get blue only from enchanted reward booster by transforming other boosters. Gold one also include killstreak booster up to 100% and it don't stack with standalone killstreak booster. It also don't stack with the heroic booster. Last one is celebration bonus with another 100%. You can get it from birthday or celebration boosters. Those two also don't stack. During Halloween you can buy candy corn gobbler and for price of few candy corn stack up gold booster effect as much as you want. Getting experience in Central Tyria is quite fast and easy. By far the best way is farming endless flow of mobs before last gate event in Citadel of Flame Path 1, but you have to create specific party on LFG for that first. With all buffs you will be done in about 4 hours. Experience in Heart of Thorns are a bit harder to get. Most efficient way is running with Zerg and tuck all mobs. If you have really good commander you can use Tangled Depths for that, otherwise Dragon Stand is by far the best option due to large amount of mobs and events. For masteries you also need mastery points. Central Tyrion and Heart of Thorns have separate sets of them. It comes from hundreds of various achievements around the world and showing every single one will take hours so let's look briefly where you should begin. In Central Tyria you can start with things like jumping puzzle and several wastes and a hidden garden, exterminating young carcass in Lion's Arch, killing Karka Queen and finding all diving spots and badges in silver wastes. Then jump on personal and living stories. Quite easy ones are also 4 legendary bosses in Silver Wastes and Screed Queen in Dry Top. And finally Fractal achievements, those are easy but require help from others. Points in Heart of Thorns are faster to obtain but also much more difficult. You should start with opening strong boxes and channeling master insights. All adventures will give you 3 points, one per each difficulty medal. Fairly easy points are for meta events. Links to guides for all of them you can now find clickable on screen or in description. At Verdant you have to complete all stages of all outposts. In Auric just final boss of Eastwatch and East Octavine. At Tanglet again all stages of all camps. And in Dragon Stand all side events and towers. You can find complete list of achievements on wiki, links is in the description. That's all I had for today, so if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe or leave a comment and stay tuned for next time.